Hi everybody. This morning I have a game for you that um, helps develop some fun math skills. Classification, that's a big word for um, putting things in categories. Like things with like things. So what I did was I sent to your teachers a packet of pictures that you can print on your printer and then when you have them all you have to do is cut away the, the big white border there and maybe you can make a bracelet or something with that later we don't want to waste any of the paper and do the same thing with the other side. You can see that I'm just cutting right along that line. It's a good exercise in cutting. And if you have siblings or parents who want to help you, that's fine too. Especially with the folding part. So what you're going to do is now, there's four of them on there. You're going to fold them in half. I'll fold it so that we can see them. Fold it in half. Line it up nice. And on that fold line... That's your new line for cutting. And hopefully you have some nice safety scissors at home. And then for each other piece, you're going to also fold them in half. So each of your nine pictures is going to become four small pictures. And when I'm done cutting one piece of paper, Another one, fold it in half, and use that as my cutting line, just like so. And now I have four Bs from my one big piece of paper. This is going to be small Bs. We can do the same thing, but since you know what to do, I'm just going to put this aside for now and show you that I've already cut the rest of mine out. So there's some that are colors. So there's three colors, pink, blue, and green. And you can sort these in piles or patterns according to their colors. Or if you'll notice, there are different sizes of bees, my big piece of paper. There's big bees, medium-sized bees, and small bees. There's also three kinds of creatures. We have bees, butterflies, oops, I'm sorry, and snails. So with bees, butterflies, and snails, notice that some are going to be the same color, some aren't. So I have to think, what is my rule for organizing? You get to make up your own rule. Right now, I think I'll make my rule be, I want to put all the big insects in one pile so I would find the big bee, the big snail, and somewhere in my pile I have big butterflies. And I would find all of the big things and put them together. And there should be four of each. And from there then you can make a pattern. But notice it's all different colors. What if my rule was going to be all pink things all by color. I would take all the pink butterflies, all the pink snails, all the pink bees. Well, when I get these cut out, there's some more bees here somewhere. So let me find them. Oh, maybe there's only these bees. But anyway, I would find all the pink things to put them together because my sorting rule is color. I would put all the blue things together with only the blue things. And then I would take all the green, whether it's a bee or whether it's a snail, whether it's big or small, all the green things would go together so that I have color piles of green, pink, and blue. So that would be the color rule for, sorry, the colors rule for sorting. So now we have the size rule of big, medium, or little, or the color rule of pink, green, or blue, 
or the type of creature. So there's three types of creatures. If I go by types of creature, I'm going to find all of the bees and put them together. Doesn't matter what color paper they're on, but all of the bees would go together. Because now we're not concerned with anything but types of animals. So all of the bees, I'm going to find, so whether they're big bees or little bees or the medium bees, which I haven't cut out yet, they'd all go in the bee pile. And likewise, whether it was a green snail, pink snail, or a blue snail, all the snails would go together. And butterflies, all of the butterflies, whether they're a big butterfly, a small butterfly, or let's see if I can find a medium butterfly. Oh, I'm not finding my. They're, they're in this pile. There we go. I have all my piles all mixed up, which is what you're going to do is mix things up to make it more fun. Then you kind of get to hunt for it. So now I have all the butterflies, and you can keep going till you have about nine butterflies and maybe about nine bees and nine snails. So that's my rule is organizing by the type of creature. So there's three types of ways to play the classification game. Now you can take all these cards and play another game called memory where you lay them all down upside down in neat rows and I can show you a little bit of how that might look. You guys have played memory games before, and I'll lift up my, you know, turn them upside down on your table in some nice neat rows, and they're going to be hard to see on my table because my cloth happens to be white, but you can start with as many or as few, like maybe you don't want to do all of them at once, but only a few at a time, depending on what size of space you have or how good your memory is. Mine's not that great anymore, so I'm just going to be, be working on it here. So I'll show you what this looks like. I'll tip my camera so that you can see on my table there, the cards are laid out. And what I would do is turn one over. Oh, I got a butterfly and I'll put him down and then I'll try another one. And I got another butterfly. So, ah, oh, I get to keep those two because they're a match. So that's the memory game, and you can keep going with as many as you want. And if you play with two people, at the end of the game, if you're playing for, um, you, guys, you guys can count and see who has how many uh, all together, or who has the most butterflies, who has the most bees, and so on. And you can use these to just lay on the ground and make a pattern. Maybe you want to go color patterns and lay them on the ground. Pink, blue, green, pink, blue, green, pink, blue, green. That's an A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C pattern. Maybe you wanted to go pink, blue, blue, pink, pink, blue, blue, pink. That's an A, B, B, A pattern. So you can make up your own patterns, your own rules, and do this as many ways as you can imagine. And if you can think of even more ways to use these game materials, um, please give me a quick email and let me send out that information to other people or even talk to your friends uh, during some of your Zoom meetings and maybe show them what kind of things you did with your game pieces. That's all for now. Thanks. Bye-bye.